Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Happy Gatty Crypto here. And let's just dive into a nice positive update, really focusing on, you know, what's going on and who's building and what projects are doing things right now. And I, I think a big one to point out is Exodus. And they're starting to uh, communicate with other projects and everybody's starting to interweave. And I spent time introducing Exodus to Lunatics Token and Lunatics Token to Exodus and then Lunatics Token to Miata and, you know, saying to one another, I think it's a good idea for us to work together, ensure that either project is, is doing well and is there any way that we can sort of help one another to try and help others' projects excel in the future? So Lunatics Token have banded together with uh, Exodus, which is, it, it's amazing to see that they got a mystery box out and it just minted out straight away. And this was really good to see that from Lunatics Token. The support inside their community is absolutely amazing to see that. And, and Lunatics Token, they're doing really well. They're going to be releasing Rap Luna, I think, in 2023, or it might even be released already. I would need to look into that a little bit more. I don't think it is yet, but it is coming. And this is something that's coming on chain. It's being utilized on chain. They do have their own NFTs with staking and stuff like that. They're doing a lot of stuff and they're spending a lot of time building inside the LUNC community. Now, they do have their own coin. Yes, of course. But ultimately, everything is in some way, shape or form going to be profitable for everybody at some point in time. So... This is just kind of how things work, but it's really good to see all of these different projects actually wanting to interconnect with each other. So there's this kind of like laughing joke currently um, amongst me and a couple of my close friends because two of my friends actually own uh, land in other places and one of them owns lands in the other side. And um, I think I've been through that before on this channel, um, but if you don't, he was one of the lucky people that managed to mint out during the crazy time. He paid a lot for his land, but what he sold it for uh, was nothing compared to, uh, well, it was a lot more than what he paid for it. Anyway, if you want one piece of just standard sandbox land, you are looking at just over one Ethereum, okay? And if you look at the other side, it depending on what pieces of land you want, they can range upwards of sometimes, I think, four Ethereum. And I look at, you know, what Exodus is currently and I think to myself, their land is ridiculous. I mean, it was ridiculously cheap when they were doing their uh, launch sale on Miata. But even now, it's ridiculously cheap for what this. So if you look at Decentraland, this is Decentraland. So it's kind of blocky, kind of Minecraft styled, that kind of metaverse, so to speak. And. You've got the sandbox, which is in itself, you know, blocky graphics. And then you look at Exodus and you're like, wow, if you compare this to that, it's not even on the same level scale or anything remotely. And it's just, you know, I think people are going to regret it once Exodus actually goes into full so anybody can jump jump in and play, people will realise then, oh, if I haven't got a piece of land by then, and then, they sit, then they're then they going to be like, oh, I'm gonna, do you know what, I'll get a piece of land. And then by that time, land's going to be crazy priced, just like it is for all of these other kind of um, metaverses that are current. But, you know, Exodus is really setting a different kind of bar. So them and themselves, they're working so hard and it's not been easy for a lot of projects in the LUNC community because we're newly formed. A lot of us come from these meme coins or meme communities beforehand where it's kind of just rug pull after rug pull after rug pull and everything's treated like a scam, pure and simple. And that's totally normal. It's normal for people to have a defensive guard. That's what's doing your own due diligence and doing your own research is all about. It's kind of always having this guard up and questioning everything and always asking the questions that are in your head and not thinking, oh, I shouldn't ask that because maybe it's a little bit weird or maybe it's going to make things a little bit awkward. But, oh, you, you need to ask those questions. And that's just the way life works. 
So there's so many good things going on and seeing that lunatics token are banding up with them. There was lands inside those mystery boxes. There was a uh, loony, which is their, what penguins is to HCC is what loony is to lunatics token. I think it's a good, it's like their mascot. Yeah, it is their mascot. Good way to um, put it. But, you know, it's so nice to see all of these different projects interweaving with each other. And it just shows how big 2023 is going to be on a grand scheme of things. And there's a lot of people that, and I myself would just love to see coin, the coin itself just pumping all the time, you know, always setting higher highs and lower lows, but we're always going to be dominated by Bitcoin the same way the whole month, like people are, oh, you know, well, we're just following Bitcoin now. Well, it's just the way Bitcoin is. Anytime we was pumping outside of Bitcoin, there was so much going on for Lunar Classic and not a lot of people wanted to get on board before and then they wanted to get on board as it was going up. And that's just the way the mind works. You chase green, um, the law of attraction. But Metagloria, Exodus, Lunar Burning Nights, you know, these are three games we've been supporting from the very beginning. And, you know, it, it makes everything so much more bullish outside of what we've got planned for 2023. I mean, this stuff alone is enough to send my mind wild sometimes at night because I'm like, I just can't wait until, you know, people are at a point where it's like, you know, what am I going to play this evening? Am I going to jump on Metagloria? Am I going to jump on Exodus? And, or am I going to go on Lunar Burning Nights? What am I going to be doing? And all of these different things. So microtransactions are absolutely huge. And if you don't understand the conception behind microtransactions, everything in the gaming kind of environment is built on microtransactions and stuff like that across the world. But that's for another video wholly on its own. But the hatchery is going to be coming out in Q1 of 2023. And we're really close to that now. And we've been working hard on this project. So there's something else we're working on. It's with Exodus and it's to give the Lunk Penguins NFTs uh, a use case inside that metaverse and we have confirmed that now i'm going to be doing a independent video on that also but i thought i'd drop that in here at the end for any lunk penguin holders that are currently wondering you know what's going on next where, where where's it all going with the hatchery the hatchery is like a totally separate route from what we also have in store with exodus and it has been confirmed from the exodus team that we will be getting that use case and we're working on a few other things with them. And, you know, there's so many good things to be bullish about is such a good word to use right now, because when, when there's so much building going on and you see the potential that I myself see with things like Exodus and Metagloria and these, because no one's really captured the crypto gaming environment in a way that really does lock it down and the fact that we've got three decent either metaverses or play to earn games or just games in general building on lunar classic means that we have a very good opportunity to control what is considered the crypto gaming market and this is huge because lunc needs something to not bind itself to but sort of look to for its daily bread um, kind of like the thing that will always keep ticking. It's always going to be there. You could kind of look at Terra Casino like that because people always love to gamble. People love the risk. Some people are just seriously addicted to gambling. And, you know, we don't have the choices with what projects are put in front of us, but wholly and solely, if they're burning, if they're providing volume and stuff like that, that's what we want to see. So Lunk 808 has recently launched on Miata as well. Really happy to see that more projects are you know, going to them and thinking, you know, going to launch here. It's very easy. I'm getting the support I need and, and stuff like that. So folks, I hope you got some really good information in this. I know it's just a lot of me just in this one, just talking about the different projects you already know about, but for people that don't understand how much is being built and how well it's going, I mean, projects are minting out on Miata. And I think, so we were the first project to launch on Miata. And I think that because our project minted out so fast, we kind of drew in a lot more projects and thought, you know, I want to go there if the Lunk community is that strong and a project like that is minted out within 21 hours, you know, I want a piece of that. And 
I, I guess that's really positive way to look at things and you know Miata is doing so well as to capturing and helping the Lunk community and they're just doing so well I'm so proud of Met Meta Gloria and we, we're very fortunate to have such a very caring team in this community so I hope you guys are excited as I am I hope you've got lands I hope you managed to grab a hoverboard and I hope you've got all sorts of different bits for all of these different um, games and stuff that are coming out. And folks, just stay safe. Have a nice day. Don't stress out too much. I know there's loads of crazy things going on. The infighting, sometimes it just gets ridiculous. This is kind of why I just don't bother with things too heavily on Twitter. Because you end up getting into these kind of back-to-back -back circle conversations. And then it becomes infighting and questioning and bickering. And people wanting to dox other people for things. And it just gets all crazy there are great things going on in the background always we're always working have a really nice day and i'll catch you in the next one sure.